Howdy friends, that is here with Insomnia Next Door. To those of you who are watching me for the first time, I've been uh, dealing with this insomnia issue for about five years. I spent thousands of money on different supplements, um, bought various consultations, pretty much spent all my savings on this stuff and uh, starting to slowly uh, to piece uh, the puzzle together and um, sharing my journey with you. Today my story is about how I started doing Qigong, uh, which is an ancient uh, uh, healing practice that comes from, uh, uh, from China. And I found many, many wonderful benefits. And uh, I honestly uh, think that uh, most of my progress that I made so far is thanks to, uh, thanks to this practice. When I uh, started it, it's been a year and a few months, uh, I was in really bad shape, really, really bad shape. I mean, I know not maybe like some of you that say cannot, that you can, can get out of bed. I mean, I could, but I was so fatigued all day. I could hardly get through work as I was at the, on the verge of quitting. And it was my colleague that basically pulled me in, said, Tadas, we should, you should try this. I've been doing this. Uh, for a few years myself and uh, it saved my life so all right you know I, I, I tried so I went on the weekend and did uh, like an introductory practice uh, three days in a row and uh, right away I felt uh, I felt the differences and I couldn't quite put my finger on it but I started feeling pain in the area of my stomach where I feel most trouble uh, also I had a boost in energy and uh, it was uh, the effect was Undeniable. I could not uh, believe in myself. It was kind of hard to to grasp that just standing or sitting there, uh, you know, in one spot can charge you with energy. But it did. So I started exploring it more and uh, practicing every day, every day re religiously for a year. And uh, it's been one year. And here I'm. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I want to share my my experiences with you. So. The biggest thing about healing is, as you've probably noticed if you've been on this journey yourself for quite a while, is many times we just have no freaking clue what's going on with us. I mean, we're, the web is full of information, one doctor is pulling you one way, the other one's pulling you the other way, you're spending money everywhere, and then, you know, everybody's telling it's your nervous system, it's your methylation, it's your kidneys, it's your, it's your liver. You know, it's this hormone, it's MTHFR, you know, it's CBS gene mutation. Take this supplement, try that supplement, and I'm in that group of people that most supplements have a paradoxical reaction that make me much worse, and I have a hard time dealing with it. So, uh, what's attracted me to Qigong is the, uh, the teaching state that it, it awakens your inner healer, uh, awakens your inner wisdom. Uh, this uh, our bodies know how to be well that's the, that's what the teachings say but the uh, problem is uh, our lifestyle our diet or certain genetic tendencies and so on they can throw it out of balance and it always wants to come back to balance and uh, we just yep have, have to give it enough fuel it says and the body will start healing so it's been a welcome uh, it's been a welcome experience for me because i th i thought i was only going downhill and i couldn't really you know it was too complicated i mean there's so many different reasons for insomnia there's so many different reasons for our health problems and you know they're all interconnected and they're pulling and tugging on each other and so on and uh, it's a headache trying to figure it out so what qigong does is uh, it charges your en uh, body with energy and uh, look at it as, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna go into this chi essence and so on and so on. Our bodies are energy. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're like smart, if you're observing life, if you're looking at your body, you know, you know that you have energy. One day you have low energy, the other day you have high energy, but you know you have energy and you know you function on energy. So, I mean, imagine if, if, you, if you took a pump and boosted all this energy in you, right? What would happen? I mean, can you feel, can you, can you be sick? Can you be sleepy? Can you, can you, you know, be fatigued if you have all this energy? You can't, right? So the, the, the theory really is 
it's kind of like a car you can take a best ferrari and you put poor fuel fuel in it right you put like diesel in it it doesn't matter it has all these you know awesome uh, body body parts you know and uh, engine parts it's going to start breaking down why because it has poor fuel poor, poor fuel right it has bad bad gasoline so it's going to when you put bad gasoline in the car it's try it, it stresses all the systems in the car isn't it true i mean it, it it's just like your body you put bad food in it it stresses everything your heart comes you know it starts palpitating your stomach starts hurting i mean that's what happens it's the same thing with our body at the same time you know if you if you have a really poor car and an old car and so on and your, 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 your you know the uh, the parts are completely worn out and you and you put uh, bad gasoline you can't go an inch right but you put good good gasoline i mean you can still keep going in a sort of way and uh, the biggest thing is with 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 our bodies when we have low energy when we're drained of our life essence it puts an enormous stress on our organs so what qigong does it charges that body it charges those organs so they can start you know sharing and circulating the energy inside of you and so on and you actually uh, you know awaken this inner uh, healing actually it's not that you awaken it i mean you just kind of give it fuel so that's been uh, i'm totally 100 percent convinced on this what i'm sharing with you by the way uh, i think this is uh, this is this this is really uh, the truth and I, i've experienced it myself and nobody will be able to uh, tell me otherwise because it's i've experienced it that's it's not a religion i felt it on my own uh, uh, skin you know so um, basically some of my personal experience and changes uh, you know and uh, have, have been uh, the following and uh, i have to say it's not it, a year did not you know did not completely like cure me and heal me but it gave me uh, it gave me such a nice, uh, uh, you know, piece, me missing piece was, was the confidence that I know that even if I get everything wrong, I don't, you know, all the doctors completely lead me in the wrong directions, uh, I can still heal on my own. And that's very powerful. And it's, uh, it's one of the things that I appreciate the most. So uh, I definitely, number one, experience more balanced central nervous system. Uh, before it was all out of whack. I mean, I could just like explode like a, you know, like a can of, 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 of TNT over just a little, you know, prick on my nervous system, you know, loud noises, you know, my, my lovely daughter speaking loudly, you know, and so it, it, it was, you, you know, I was a mess. I was reacting to everything. Small stresses caused big reaction in my body my heart would pound you know over you know just you know a, a thought of public speaking or i had to say something in front of colleagues you know you go through a little bit of, of stress so it's 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 basically amplified basically a hundredfold when your cns is out of whack so uh biggest thing is the of course like i said is uh is is that sense of confidence that uh, and I really believe it is that I can heal all on my own if I just do these practices and that's the most powerful thing for us because many many days we wake up what totally hopeless right I mean we're like dying from despair we're like ready to jump off the bridge because we say this is it I mean it's just getting worse what you know nothing's working supplements not working herbs not working you know and that's the worst part about insomnia is this hopelessness is this damn hopelessness you know that that, uh, that that permeates your entire being and it's the hardest to deal with so uh when i started noticing gradual gradual improvements with my practice i knew that you know i i had room for mistakes i take a bad supplement or you know i, I take too much of something you know i get i don't get a adrenal crash that i call them you know uh, for weeks you know i get them for a few days i recover and uh, when i'm sick i recover faster i don't get it sick as often so it basically gave me this boost uh and confidence knowing that whatever i do uh i'm still gonna get better if i just focus on this darn thing you know so improved lower back pain i had awful like burning lower back pain and these are all symptoms of the so-called kidney yin or jing deficiency in, in tcm chinese medicine uh, in Western medicine, they call it adrenal fatigue. It kind of starts with that, right? Uh, just gnawing pain in the lower back, and it's not relieved by yoga and all that stuff. 
no heart palpitations. God, I mean, I have like second story. I had to go up here. I would run up, <laughs> you know, like take a hot shower, heart, heart palpitation. I, I like raise my voice, heart palpitation. I ate something wrong, heart, heart palpitation. That was insane, you know, it's crazy stuff. And, you know, they're all gone. Of course, you know, I'm taking also herbs. I'm taking the right formula. They all work in concert together. And uh, that's the most wonderful part. I hardly do any sort of uh, additional supplements other than herbs and uh, and uh, qigong practice. So definitely a better immune response, right? So uh, if I get sick, like I mentioned, it, it goes away faster. Uh, uh, and that's uh, usually winter has knocked me out and last winter was much better. I was warmer. I was just, you know, like my mood was better. It was great. Uh, sleep, right? That's the biggest question. How did it affect your sleep? And uh, I have to say sleep uh, is the slowest, slowest improvement for me overall. But it definitely in the year, what I had before and now, it's like a day and night. It's really day and night. I fall asleep okay. I still wake up at night, but I'm making progress with that too. And it's, I'm, uh, I know it's my liver and my digestion that's, that are causing all these things. So I'm addressing all that. But my, what happened to my sleep, I started sleepy, sleeping deeper. And uh, I wouldn't wake up nervous. I was never really an anxious dude in the first place. So if you have anxiety, Qigong is like the number one remedy. I swear it's, and it, 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 it's great. Uh, but I, because I'm charged more from the practice, even if I miss a few hours that night, I'm able to function the next day. And that's the most re remarkable thing for me. You know, I sleep four hours, I you know, usually go to work, you're tired, you're sleepy, none of that. I do my practice in the morning, I go to work, I'm like, hey, I feel like I, you know, slept like seven hours. And that's the most, that's the most biggest gift that we can get, right? Is to have more energy even with less sleep. So, uh, sleep is going to catch up. It, it, it's, it's already, I would say it improved by a good 60%, you know, and, uh, I know it's going to be completely resolved when my digestion and my liver are working smoothly. And uh, that's the biggest thing. So I definitely feel that uh, I have a better appetite. Uh, things are going through the system much better with uh, aid of some other things. So by the way, you know, if your digestion if, you know, is, not, is not well, first of all, take care of all that. You know, work on your digestion. Uh, you know, that's the biggest thing. We have to get things detoxicated and you have to be moving through the system. Um, uh, I won't get into the details of how it's practiced because you know I put a nice big post on the, on the, on, on my blog insomniacnextdoor.com uh, and you can go there and uh, I shared with you a link is in the, below this uh, video and I shared you know the, the, the type of practice that I do the book that I recommend that you can do on your own and uh, uh, you can learn a lot yourself. The biggest thing is find one program and stick with it. You know, just stick with it. That's the thing. Don't just go on a buffet of Qigong's and try this and try that. It's not going to work. You have to stick with it. The practices that I do are very, very simple. I mean, I have some people say, hey, I will never do Qigong. It's, you know, I don't have enough energy. You know what you have to do? It's great. I mean, you have to do two, two, two main practices. And one, you stand. You just stand like a tree. You know, there's a special pose and a special visualization. And the second practice, you sit, you have your 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 your, your hands on the lower dantian, you know, below the around your belly button, and you just accumulate energy in, into that uh, into that point. And that's it, my friends. It's that simple. When one practice, you stand. The next one is you sit and you accumulate energy. And that's the most wonderful thing about this thing. I mean, it's like. Can you really find energy in you? I mean, can you get it from somewhere else? That's the biggest question, right? I mean, how does it work? But you obviously see that plants are getting energy from, from, from sunlight, from sunshine, you know? And then you obviously know how you feel when you're out in the sunshine. You're charged, you're alive. And so we're getting energy from the, from the cosmos, from the earth. I mean, you, you, you have, you know, everything that grows has its roots in the, in the, in the ground, in earth, right? And it's sucking all the nutrients out of it. So yes, we're able to get energy, uh, you know, uh, outside of us. And that's what these practices do. They tap into the energy of the earth and the energy of the cosmos. And you basically just allow it to be a vessel of that energy 
and it circulates through you and it starts purifying these energy channels, our circulation system, you know, everything. I mean, with, you just become warmer, you, it's undeniable. I mean, once you start, start doing practices, you see it, I'm like, there's warmth flowing through your body. You know, you just, you just, it, and that's the, you stand, but you're hot. How can that be, right? That's what that happens when your energies are aligned and uh, things are flowing. So, uh, the biggest thing uh, about this whole uh, practice, right, is that uh, uh, you can you can to a certain extent customize it and do and do how you like them. Uh, and uh, the biggest uh, I would say advice is that you have to do it very very regularly. Uh, I do it at least, and, and yeah, that's going to be a time investment, right? An hour a day. Uh, and uh, uh, if you do two practices, it takes about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. So, is it time consuming? Heck yeah, it's time consuming. In fact, after I'm done recording this video, I'm leaving to do a practice with a group and it's going to take me three hours. And that's the practice you do in a group. So, the way I rationalize, you know, what, what would I do if I was here during those three hours? You know what I would do? I'd be working on the internet. You know, there is, is mel, 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 you know, some sort of l ornithine is the right amino acid for me. Do I have CBS, you know, gene mutation? What's Ayurveda has to say? What does TCM have to say about it? It's crazy. I mean, you feel you had with all this stuff and you just waste so many hours. Or maybe I'd be in front of TV watching another movie or something, you know, or some stupid show. I mean, the time would go by anyways. And what would it do for me? Zero. So I figured, I need to heal. I have my whole life in front of me. I have my family. You know, I, I, I owe it to myself, uh, to them, to be healed and to get better. So I'm going to invest whatever the heck long it takes for me to get better. And that's, I really encourage you to spend the time, invest the time, and you're going to feel the results. And that's the biggest thing. Uh, one one uh, last, last thing is to, uh, if you can, Try to find uh, uh, a, a teacher uh, in in uh, in your area, in your town. The big, the best way it works is if you get a direct transmission from a master, from somebody who's doing it, who understands these things, and just by observing, you learn so much. I mean, you can get everything from that book that I that I uh, 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 put a link in, but you know you're 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 gonna have to practice a bit a bit more. And uh, when you get it from a teacher and is able to correct you and so on, uh, you learn faster. But that's the thing. It's universal. You know, the, the, these laws are universal. So if it works for somebody in China, it's going to work for somebody in Mozambique or, you know, Estonia or United States. You know, it's going to work because these are based on laws of, you know, of the universe, just like, you know, uh, physics. You know, same, same rules apply here or any other. Uh, side of the of the planet. So uh, the biggest thing is you have to try. You have to get over that cynicism, that uh, that sense of uh, of uh, not able to trust uh, these wacky different traditions that come from the east. But hundreds of thousands of people are practicing it. They're seeing the benefits of it, and uh, I'm one of them uh, in front of you, reporting that it works. And I think it made the biggest difference for me so far. So um, I have a link under this video, and uh, you can go uh, to visit the visit the web page. I also have put a Spotify, uh, my favorite Spotify meditation Qigong music that you can also join and listen to. And that's the most beautiful thing you can do: your practice, listen to music, and join. I mean, it's just wonderful. I hope you have the you find the you find the, the courage and the inspiration to try it and uh, I'll be with you out there out in that in that field of healing and if you have any questions always drop me a note someday maybe we can create a group practice online all right so sleep well if you're not someday we all will take care